In billiards, there are certain bank shots that can be mastered with the use of geometry. Before we start, let's get to know the different parts of the game. The rails, the cue stick, the pool balls, the cue ball, and the pocket. The object of the game is to get all of either the striped or solid balls into any of the six pockets using the cue ball. A common strategy to get a ball into one of the six pockets is a bank shot. A bank shot is any shot that brings the rails into the play. In a bank shot, when a ball banks off the side of the rail, there's a pattern. The angle at which the ball hits the rail and the angle at which the ball bounces back off of the rail are equal. This is called the principle of reflection. There are different methods to figure out geometrically where to hit the ball on the rail to bounce back off of the rail to hit the target ball. In this first scenario, the cue ball and the target ball are equidistant to the rail. If we draw the shortest distance from the balls to the rail, they will make two perpendicular lines and therefore two right angles. These right angles will be congruent by the theorem stating that all right angles are congruent. By the principle of reflection, we know that these two angles are congruent. As you can see, these segments are forming two right triangles. These triangles are similar by the angle-angle similarity theorem, and therefore congruent because one of the corresponding sides of each of the triangles are congruent. By CPCTC, we now know that these two segments are congruent. This means that to successfully bank the ball, you must aim for the midpoint between the two right angles. In the second scenario, the case is similar to the first, except that the balls are different distances from the rail. The congruent right triangles and the congruent angles proven by the principle of reflection still apply. This makes the two right triangles similar again by the angle-angle similarity theorem. Because they are similar but not congruent, one of the triangles is a certain number of times larger than the other. To find the place you are aiming for on the rail, you need to know the distance between the two right angles and the distances from each of the balls to the rail. In this particular situation, the cue ball is 60 units from the rail and the target ball is 20 units from the rail. The two right angles are 40 units apart. The ratio of the big triangle to the small triangle is 60 to 20, or 3 to 1. This means that 3 fourths of 40 is the length of the big triangle's leg, and 1 fourth of 40 is the length of the small triangle's leg. Now you know exactly where to aim to accurately bank the ball. This next method involves hitting the target ball to bounce off of the rail instead of the cue ball. In this case, you are aiming for a pocket on the opposite side of the table. First, you need to draw a line from the cue ball perpendicular to the rail. Then, you must draw a line from the target ball to the pocket opposite of the pocket that you are aiming for. These two lines will form an angle. If you bisect the angle that the two lines form and extend it all the way to the rail, that is the point that you are aiming for. And now you know how to properly bake a ball using geometric techniques. 